quiet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna sing, Zach. Don't worry about it. Hell yeah. My balls is totally moving, new and improving. Not that we get back, girl. I've got the heart and desire. My balls are on fire, ready to take us to the thing. <laughs> Welcome to the show! Did you know that your mom is a nice lady? Big oh! quiet. Oh, the king! I don't like it. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to another episode. We're on, we're here, we're live, we haven't died yet, but you never know. <laughs> By you the know? time you see this, this might be a memorial yeah. episode. Yeah, the, some people <laughs> drive badly, some people drive badly and use drugs and alcohol, some people drive badly, use drugs and alcohol and Instagram at the same time, and then some of you cross the street on Instagram. Do the math. You're going to die. One of you is going to die. Maybe both of you are going to die. You know, maybe, hopefully you don't die and you like shatter every bone in your body and then they give you a liquid metal uh, skeleton and then you can fight crime. And That'd be kind of Maybe you could get in uh, Jackass 5 because I don't think it's going to end ever until everybody dies, which could be the last episode but we have a guest and that's why i brought up jackass zackass what's up Thanks isn't it for- weird <laughs> that you were named zackass before jackass and you were just mind your own business doing sh- doing stuff don't cuss for like five ten okay. minutes i don't know why i said that it's okay um i have a gun <laughs> that's awesome yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty not, sick. Not in my hand, my guns make everything sicker. Yeah, usually. I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, <laughs> but you had you came on my really janky podcast when I had a radio show. I think it was Ellis Tronics, yeah. one of the greatest podcasts of our time. I don't know why that didn't pick up. I, I never got, I never understood that. <laughs> sort of like Danzig. It was ahead of its time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, does that work? He was ahead of his time. Uh, the, like the Misfits. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> we gotta get him on here. Oh yeah, he would love to see us again. Right? He loves us. He's a friendly guy. <laughs> Remember when he threatened to beat you, Katie, without and with no safe word? Yes, I do. <laughs> we talked to him. We talked to him in the green in the green room after the show yeah. about BDSM stuff because we yeah. heard that he was into it. And Katie and I were just starting, and I had a mistress. I didn't really go any further than having a mistress a few times, but I yeah. thought that maybe this was going to be a new thing for me. Yeah. So I asked him about it. He's like, yeah, you guys can come over. Like, is there's no safe word? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to, like, try to scare my wife into thinking she's going to die? And then she doesn't? She just gets pounded by Glenn Danzig? I don't know. I think she'd be happy about that. I don't think he could murder her, you know? Like, he wouldn't get away with that, would he? I don't think, I don't- I don't think he could. Katie, I like your odds of escaping Glenn Danzig's oh, dungeon. Oh, you're saying <laughs> just throw hand to hand. You say Katie can win hand to hand. I'm just saying throw a handful of kitty litter in his face and make a break for it. <laughs> so, Zach, we were saying before the show started that you have been to rehab. Oh yeah, yeah, I have a couple times for uh, what? Uh, for like f- painkillers and like benzos and stuff, like Xanax and uh, and like. Uh, Percocet, pretty much. Is that a scene that you were in, a crowd that were like, let, we're all doing that, we're getting our mum's pills? How does that start? Because uh, I'm old school. Yeah, We yeah. did coke and heroin and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've done that stuff too, but uh, <laughs> I just like... <laughs> I guess that w- would make sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Why not do whatever you can get yeah, once no, you do I, that? I was prescribed Xanax at like 10 years old. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Why? So, um, for like anxiety and stuff. Oh. Uh-huh. And then, uh, but then I was like, later on, I was, when I was older, like in high school, I was like, oh, if you take more of these, it feels doper. <laughs> like, yeah. It feels awesome. Somebody in school showed you that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, it just got, it just, it, you know, accelerated from there. How did you stay in, like, did you graduate? 
From the rehabs? From or? school. Oh, from school? <laughs> I was like, whoa, dude, no. Oh, uh, no, I, here, so I, you I graduated dro- from rehab. Do you, oh, throw, no, do I, you throw the cap? Oh, yeah, I threw the cap and everything. No. Um, I ended up, uh, I dropped out of high school and then I got my GED like a, a couple weeks after. Oh, okay. Yeah. So have you always, I mean, you're Zach ass, as, as I was saying, you're on the yeah. world's crappiest podcast with me, headbutt and tax. Yeah. And then you're in, in Jackass. Yeah. They call you. <laughs> that must have been like the greatest day of your life, right? Yeah, it was. It it just like, I I had a feeling they were going to be making another one. And then, because I wasn't really doing anything. And I was just like, Did I you know any of them? Um, I knew Steve-O. Okay. I, I just knew Steve-O. He'd from seen like, your work, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Steve-O had seen my stuff. And I had filmed a couple things with Steve-O at the time. That must have been... Like, yeah. the, before you were picked on yeah. Jack, you're like, wow, this guy really likes me, and we're hanging out doing stuff. Was that yeah. the skateboard down the hill thing into the yeah, cactus? Yeah, in the cactus. Right. Yeah, yeah. That was a great stunt. Yeah, because he saw a bunch of my viral videos, and then, like, he usually doesn't, like, have other, like, jackass, like, copycat people, like, you know, film with him, usually. Yeah. And he ended up bringing me out, because I was just doing a bunch of crazy stuff that, like, other people weren't doing at the time. Yeah. And then we did the cactus thing, and then we were pretty much friends from there. The skateboard uh, spine board slide was good too. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. That was that was definitely one of the worst nut shots. I've Did ever you had. think when you were approaching that uh, that spine that was the board? prepared to snap though did you know uh, it was gonna snap i knew it was gonna snap because of my weight 100 like that was like the main like i 100 percent was anticipating that but not but, hitting your balls uh well i was anticipating that too oh, i was okay i wasn't sure like how bad i was gonna get hurt other than just getting hit in the nuts though yeah. but so i came out of it okay other than that <laughs> what did you hurt when you hit oh uh, just my nuts oh, <laughs> and, yeah. you managed to miss everything else <laughs> yeah pretty much it did look like that yeah Sucks. Your your ability to absorb scrotum pain is pretty legendary. To what do you attribute that? There is a conspiracy wow, that's theory. A great question. There is um, a conspiracy theory out there. I know you're, that's for, not the first time you're hearing this that you either don't have or at some point lost your nuts. Uh, no, I definitely have them. I got like the other day I got kicked in the nuts by uh, I was on tour with Stevo, mm. and this person with a prosthetic leg wanted to kick me in the nuts. Good for him. Yeah. It, it was, it, yeah. It's an inspiring yeah, story. Yeah, it, was, he, it, was he an army vet? Uh, no, uh. no. Uh, it was a lady. Uh, she she kicked me. Then she was like, "This will make my night." And I was like, "Okay." And then it was horrible. It, it was sucked. really hot. It was really. It was, it was way worse spot. than I thought it was going to be. Right, because she doesn't have an ankle, right? No. So the toe just goes straight in. Yeah, yeah. It was bad. Like at first she did it, and then she was like, "Oh, I wasn't good enough. I'm gonna oh. do it again." And, and you she, said okay. Yeah, I was just like okay, you know. <laughs> and then she did the second time. It sucked. Yeah. I feel like we know her. One-legged woman. She danced for you on your birthday. Oh, was she hot? Um. Mm. No, <laughs> no, probably not. This not is not. Probably her. was not her. Yeah, she was hot <laughs> one time for my birthday. Katie hired. Now we're friends with her, but one-legged girl and her friend who's a little person. And the little person was dressed as Britney Spears doing a Britney <laughs> Spears song while the one-legged lady danced around her. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was pretty good. That's pretty sick. It didn't suck. That's a great team. Yeah, that is and, a good and neither team. of them kicked you in the nuts? No. Oh. No one asked the, to do it either, which is... Yeah. <laughs> so that happens to you a lot, huh? Yeah, yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah, people... I mean, it's been... It's sort of slowed down. Like, people used to do that to me all the time, but ne- or people ask me to kick them in the nuts, too, a lot. That's cool. But uh, I usually don't do that, because I just don't want to get, like, sued at yeah. some point or something. That's smart. So I'm like, you can kick me in the nuts, like, if it's, like, really what they, if that's what they really want out of, you know, meeting me. Yeah. <laughs> like. Because you like to give the fans what they want? Yeah, I guess. Like, you know, you like, sick of some it? people want to, like, take pictures, some people want me to sign something. Some people just want to say hi. Some people want to get kicked in the nuts or kick me in the nuts. It's just like whatever. It's whatever to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you think you've shaped yourself into this person that can deal with potentially getting kicked in the nuts every day? Um, I don't know. It's just pretty normal to me now. Just from is, doing, huh? Yeah. From doing that kind of stuff just for so long. Do you get nervous? About getting kicked in the nuts? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Yeah. yeah it's like... 
you know, what's the worst that could happen? Jason, Jason <laughs> what do you make of that? Because, like, when you were at the highest level of skating, you could get hurt every day, and some people might think, well, if you fall off a skateboard from 15, 20 feet, that happens every day. It must not hurt as much as it used to. Hey. Is that true? I, hmm. Not really. It like, still I, hurts, I guess, right? It definitely still yeah, would hurt. Like, no matter what it would be, even if you're like, used to it, it would still hurt. Yeah. You know. I guess it's not as traumatic if yeah, you do yeah. it all the time. Yeah. Like, waking up <laughs> injured is just like, well, yeah. Yeah, this is normal. I remember waking up not injured and being tripped out on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so like, funny. I don't feel any pain right now. That's crazy. Because <laughs> usually I just did. <laughs> So who asked you, was it Steve-O that asked you to be in the movie? No, um, I got like a random DM on Instagram from some like producer person from Jackass. Wow, yeah. And I'd never heard of them, and so I thought it was fake, and I responded to it anyways, just in case. Yeah. And then the next thing, I know I'm like in an office with Knoxville and Tremaine. Yeah. And they didn't even tell me it was the movie at first. They told me that it was for like a 20th anniversary, like, uh fucking like documentary special thing they weren't like trying to let everyone know that it was the movie like yeah. at first so i did like two meetings where they're saying it's for this like documentary thing where we might do like some stunt stuff and then the third time they were like yeah it's for the movie yeah. and you were just like and i'm in it yeah i was and like, what? like yeah <laughs> i was like what the fuck this is insane yeah. do you think that that was all just to keep it cloak and dagger or do you think a part of that might have been that they wanted to feel you out and sort of like well, a- audition you personally before they, uh, you know. Put yeah, you in I think that was definitely hard. I mean, a little bit because I feel like there were people that were talked to that weren't ended up not being in it. There you go. You know, uh, really? Yeah, probably. I mean, because I feel like they reached out to a bunch of different people, and you saw them right at one point. Or no, not? Uh, no, no, and okay. then like. They wouldn't tell me who else was in the movie, though, until, like, we had, like, we had to do this pre-shoot before it was, like, because they wanted to test out, like, how does it really work with the new guys and the and the OG cast? Yeah. And we, we had, like, this dinner thing, and then I finally got to meet everyone else that was in it, like, the other new people. Yeah. And then the next day we filmed, and then we they filmed for, like, two days, and then, then they sent it to Paramount, and then it got greenlit. And did they use the bit in, that was, that you filmed in the movie? Yeah, they used a lot of that stuff from the pre-shoots, like, in the movie. Um, what was that? Um, the first thing I did was the human ramp, like, the where I jumped, yeah. like, with the little mini bike. Yep. Um, we did that, and then um, we did, like, the, the long jump thing, which that was in 4.5 with me and Preston, where we're, like, we're just running and, like, trying to do... Uh, just trying to jump over everybody yeah, and shit like that. And then they did a bunch of other stuff, too. I only filmed, like, a couple of things those days. And, yeah, then, then, you know, eventually, like, a few months later, we started filming the movie. Um, what is the most nerve-wracking part of the movie and what was the most painful part? The most nerve-wracking was definitely when we did the Silence of the Lambs bit. The part where we're, like, in the room with the... the with the rattlesnake thing, and oh, then they, yeah, they turn yeah. the lights off. Yeah, because they didn't tell you, right? Yeah, they didn't tell us at all. And I, I should have known that it was, like, weird that we're filming, like, in this, like, abandoned, like, insane asylum, <laughs> you know? And, like, <laughs> we were just, like, walking down into Wait, this. it was an abandoned, insane, insane it, asylum? Yeah, yeah, they used, it was some sort of an asylum of were sorts. Were you feeling that there, in the or, like, dark that there was ghosts, potentially? Um, with all those cameras? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was fucking scary. <laughs> well, you, you would say you weren't just scared of the snake. You were scared uh, of, I was, like... I was scared of, like, just being... Like, it was definitely, like... I was I was pretty scared of just being there in general. Um, But uh, <laughs> mainly the snake, though, was, yeah. the, was the huge fear for me. Because they, uh, they told us it was a snake... We're going to do this thing called, like, Rattlesnake Cookie, where <laughs> this is, like, an insane thing to even think that they would film this. Like we're gonna put a like they're gonna put a cookie on this rattlesnake's head and Johnny Knoxville's gonna try to take it off. Yeah, and I go in there like Jeff's being like really nice to me and anytime which is he's, weird, which is really weird. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> I'm like I didn't even think about that at all. Shut and up. then then he goes, Yeah, you need to change your shirt. You and Poopies are both wearing black and like we want you to both wear some different colors. And so I go change my shirt, come back in, and then like less people are in the room, and then. The guy acts like he dumps the snake over because they showed us a snake before that, eh. 
and it was a real rattlesnake at first, and then they dump it over, and fucking, I thought the snake was out, they fucking slammed the door shut, and then, uh, they start fucking with us, like, tasing us, doing different shit, they have, like, maracas to make it sound like the snake's still in there. And did that work? Yeah, that worked for me. Did you think in the dark that Jeff Tremaine would let you be bitten by a rattlesnake? Um, potentially, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty sure that that was possible. And do you know what the outcome is when you get bitten by a rattlesnake? They were sort of telling us, like, a little bit about, like, heart rate and different stuff going on. And I was like, I'm not healthy. Right. Like, you know, I'm going to die yeah. if I get bit by a rattlesnake. It's fair. Yeah, like, I don't think that I will survive, you know, from that. Like, And, that. When, and when you got fake bit... Did you think you got bit? Yeah, I did. I was freaking fuck. the fuck out. Like, I was freaking the fuck out. And Because at first I was like, there's no way that I actually got bit. And then, like, Knoxville, like, broke character, but was still in character and was acting like I actually got bit. And I, that's what, like, threw me over, like, the edge. I was like, oh, my fucking God, dude. <laughs> I'm going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and then... um, Wait, I So he was like... <laughs> To you, when you got fake bit, he was like, oh, everybody yeah. stop. Yeah, like, yeah, he was he like, He actually stop. got bit, and you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, my God, it's real. Man, <laughs> yeah. he is, he's an asshole and a genius. He really is. And, uh, yeah, so I was freaking the fuck out. God. And he's, like, banging on the door telling him to open it and shit. Oh, and, like, they no. were, I was, like, freaking out. And then uh, he goes, this is the only way out. He opens this other door and pushes me through because I was, like, just freaking the fuck out. And there's just marbles, and the floor is greased up. There's pots and pans <laughs> hanging everywhere. And I'm just, like, hitting everything. My shoes fly off. And then I try to, like, my glasses flew off, too. Not that it really mattered. Anyway. Not that it mattered. But, uh, yeah, then I then there was, like, this little area that had, like, thumbtacks and, like, mouse traps on it. And I thought because it, it would hurt that it was the way out. Okay. But it was actually just guarding the camera guys. And I tried to climb over it, and it broke. Yeah, <laughs> and I just got like thumbtacks and shit all in me for no reason. How long are you thinking you might die and you got bitten by a snake? How long did they continue to? It was like that whole thing, that whole ordeal was probably like like fifteen minutes. That's a long time. Yeah, and like my heart rate was already just racing yeah. in general from anxiety, which made it and... would have made you think that it's from yeah, the snake yeah, bite. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. Just made it worse. Um, <laughs> could, use, yeah. could use some of those annexes then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So then lights on and... Then they have, after I break through that barrier thing, they turn the lights on and everyone just came in and started laughing. But there was another part of it where you're supposed to walk out the other door and then you're going to get hit by this volleyball machine that shoots volleyballs. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you go. You got to get confirmation from somebody. Yeah, yeah, I was like... Did I, I get bit? Yeah, yeah, I did. I said that, and they're like, no, you didn't get bit. <laughs> like, yeah. Man. Yeah, it was fucking scary. And then, ha-ha, that's very funny. Yeah, pretty much. Are you worried the next day you shoot after uh, that? You're worried every day you're on set that something's going to happen. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, because you don't, you don't know what's a prank and what's not. Like, <laughs> one day we were just, like, doing a photo shoot, and they're like, this isn't a prank at all. This is literally just a photo shoot for promotional stuff. Yeah. And it really was, but none of us believed it at all. Right. Like, everyone that went in was, like, on edge. Like, they we were getting horrible pictures because we were all freaking the fuck out. Right. And they, like, the camera people were like, this is not a prank. And, like, we're like, they're telling you to say that. Like, this is a fucking prank. Yeah. Like, something's going to fucking happen. Like, Knoxville was, like, texting me before. He was like, yeah, he's like... He's like, you might want to take your glasses off when you walk in there. And all these, like, telling me different <laughs> things. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck, dude? And he wasn't even there. He was just fucking <laughs> with me. <laughs> oh, man, he's a fun guy. Yeah. It sounds nerve-wracking to be involved in that, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're trying to live up to their standards, too, right? Yeah. Like, you, want, you don't want to be a pussy. You want yeah. to, like, go for everything. And they're making your life so <laughs> hectic. Yeah. And you suffer from anxiety. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I I went into it saying that anything that they asked me to do, I was going to do just because I feel like I would regret not doing it, you yeah. know? Um, and, like, you know, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> like, was there anything you thought you didn't want to do? Um, well, there was one thing, definitely. Uh, the day with the Bulls, we were, like, Knoxville did his bit first. Then we ended up not doing the rest of the bowl stuff. Because they were like, we got it. Like, we don't have to do anything else. But, like, there was another thing that involved me, like, with bulls and stuff. Yeah. 
And I was like, that sounds fucking horrible and yeah. terrifying. Like, I feel like, I mean, I don't, I just feel like if I got ran into by a bull, it would just be bad. Yeah. I don't feel like it's going to, fl- like, I would, I maybe it would flip me. I don't fucking know. But at the same time, like, I feel like I'm just going to end up breaking something because I'm not going to, like. Yeah, because if he does flip you and you get, like, six feet in the air and you land, you are going to break something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or it'll just end up trampling. <laughs> yeah. Right. One and the they other. were like, "You're gonna, you're gonna do it." <laughs> yeah, it was like this other thing, but yeah. I've I did a TV show where they had baby bulls chase us around. Yeah, they were like six hundred pounds, so they uh-huh. weren't like yeah. adult ones. But when they first ran past us, and I like ran behind the wall, and it ran past me, I remember thinking, "This is not cool." Like you guys <laughs> yeah. don't. I don't think you guys realize or care about our safety because I was absolutely positive that. They slow down quick. You probably know that. Yeah. But before they slow down, those first couple of charges, I was like, what kind of... What kind of I mean, it's cool. It's got a leather thing over its horns. And I'm like, so what? Yeah. It's doing like 50 mile an hour and it's 600 pounds. Like, yeah. I'm going to get broke off. Like, it's going to crush my ribs. And they were like, you'll be all right. And I remember thinking, they, I didn't have any like pro season guys there. It was just yeah. TV people saying... Yeah, go for it. Good. And I was like, this guy. I'm like, you go in there. <laughs> Nobody all- else went in there. <laughs> That's always a fun scenario. I'm like, you'll be fine. It's like, no. Yeah, bulls dude. are a lot scared. It's kind of like anything. Like, you see people surf big waves and you go, wow, that's impressive. But if you yeah. were, like, in a boat next to that wave, you go, wow. I had no idea. Yeah. I feel like the, <laughs> with bulls, you watch Johnny and you're like, wow, that's amazing. Go near a real live bull and then you'll realize that Johnny Knoxville is out of his fucking mind. mind. (laughs) Out of it. Because it doesn't... It's working out great for him and he's getting flipped upside down and then he's walking off. (laughs) But you could... If he just did that once a week, that's not how it's going to go. One of those times he's going to die. Yeah. Because they are so strong. Let me ask you something. Zach, you obviously like distinguished yourself amongst a lot of other people who were doing jackass style stuff in the way yeah. which, and you were a cut above those people that's why you are where you are once you're there with the actual jackass people did you have a feeling that uh oh yeah these are the people who are at my level of bravery insanity pain threshold or did you feel like a knoxville was like oh shit i'm crazy compared to everyone i've ever met this guy's crazy um i definitely feel like they're like the best at what they do you know Um, I still felt like I, like, had to, like, I mean, I didn't really feel like, I still feel like I had to, like, continue, like, proving myself that I belong, you know what I mean? Sure. Like, because the whole, that's, like, like, if you, like, people you look up to, you know, like, doing the thing that you want to do, and then you're doing it with them, it's, like, you still have to keep, like, showing that you're, like, good enough to do that, you know? Yeah. I completely understand that. Yeah. Because they could just drop you. Yeah, yeah, literally. If you don't do impressive stuff. Yeah. And do you think they'll do another one? Um, I mean, I think they're it's, not going to tell you, are they? They're definitely not going to tell me. I mean, I think it's possible. <laughs> Photo shoot and all of a sudden you're in Jackass 5. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely possible. We'll see what happens, you know. And obviously you'd be into that. Oh, yeah. hundred percent. Like, I really don't want to do like stunt stuff for like anyone else. You right. know? Are you being asked? Um, I have been. I've been asked to do a few things, but it's just like, it's not really, uh, I really don't want to do it unless it's for, like, some jackass stuff or yeah. things like that. Or if it's something that I really want to do, like, that I'm doing, but, like... Are you doing stuff like that? Uh, not really, no. I mean, I haven't, uh... I'm not really doing much stunt stuff at all, really, anymore. So what does Zach do now? Um, mainly, like, I've been... I've been doing a lot of stand-up now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been doing that. That's <laughs> been really fun. I just want... I was on tour with Sivo for a little bit. That was cool. Yeah. Um, just doing stand up as much as I can. Um, getting into acting. I did. I just did like a movie, like in Oakland. That was cool. Yeah. And I'm doing more acting stuff and just like sketch comedy stuff and writing and things like that. Has that always been your idea? Uh, the plan. I mean, that's always what I've wanted to do, and the stunt stuff happened, and which is really, it was really fun doing all that stuff. But because that's how I got into everything. Yeah. But uh, I've ultimately always wanted to do other stuff too. You know? So the plan was. Do dangerous stuff, get hurt, get a name, be an actor. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> really? From the start? Uh, I mean, like, well, I always, there was part, it, at one time it was like, I'm going to do this, st- I'm going to do stunt stuff for like ever. Yeah. But like, 
ultimately that doesn't seem i don't know it's after a while i was like i don't really want to just do this i want to like pivot and like do more comedy stuff are you basing this on seeing your your heroes that are older and been around doing it longer what they what they've done like do you think they've influenced you to change just being a stunt guy because some of them have changed um yeah i mean that that definitely too i just want like it's just like i don't know how long i can really like do all that stuff for you yeah. know you can't do that stuff all the time you um, can't do it when you get old yeah and i mean it's, you can but well, you can definitely because they you know they're they're still doing it but like i don't know there's more like there's just tons of other opportunities and stuff that i can do like there's so much more i can do with acting too yeah. and that kind of stuff you know in comedy i really and i really love that stuff like a lot like just as much as i love doing stunts yeah yeah i totally get it yeah i'm doing comedy too yeah my main thing is it's very nerve-wracking it's difficult it's tough to learn but you don't even go to hospital ever yeah yeah it's and great it's cool yeah yeah People don't realize what it's like to go to hospital a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's tedious. Yeah, I fucking hate that. Like, yeah. I, I've been, <laughs> I've had to do that so much in my life. I'm just, like, so over it, you know? Over hospitals? Yeah, over hospitals. How many yeah. times do you think you've gone to hospital? Um, I don't even know, dude. Like, probably, like, probably, like, 30 or 40 times at least. Like, maybe more. Like it just really depends. And these like, are all stunts. Uh, yeah, from different stunts, especially when I was like, when I started making like viral video. Like, so I stopped. I was making viral videos in high school, and I had I had some success with that, and I was like making money, like licensing like clips, like TV shows and stuff. Sort of like ridiculousness, but there was like other shows back then on like different. There's a bunch of shows that would like. To acquire clips yeah like crazy clips from people like top 20 dumbest fucking rednecks or whatever the fuck it was called yeah all the, they make all these fucking shows all the time so i would take those clips that i was filming in high school and like license them to those people and then i Good was money it was decent yeah. yeah it was pretty decent i was you know it was better than working like a regular job but that means you have to keep up the stunts yeah you have to keep, keep doing money. like crazier stuff too and then then i sort of stopped doing that and i started i worked at walmart for like three years and then uh then I went to jail for weed in Indiana. Selling it? No, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, w I just had weed. Like, pretty much I got, like, a DUI for weed. Yeah. And I ended up going to jail for a month. Why? Um, because, well, it was... I sort of fucked myself because they were like... Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. They were a month for a DUI sounds <laughs> yeah. pretty hefty. Yeah, they. I've never well, even heard of a weed DUI. I know it's technically possible. Yeah. yeah well, what happened? Did what, you have a joint in your hand? No, no, no. I didn't. Um, okay. <laughs> they, they were like, I. <laughs> so I picked up my friend from the gas station that he worked at, and he set off the alarm as he was going out because he was high, and fucking, the cops show up and they fall. They ended like they showed up really fucking fast. And they followed us leaving the gas station, and they pull us over, and they're like, try they're searching my van and all this stuff because they're, they had like nothing to do. It was a very small town in Indiana, and they're like, okay, well, we found this little bit of like shake on the floor, just like a little bit of weed, barely any. If they would have just like, blew into their hand, it would have been gone forever. And then they were like, okay, uh, we're also gonna mouth swab you right now. And I was like, no, you're not. And then because I said no, I, re I declined that, they got a warrant for my blood. Mm. And if I would have done the mouth swab, I would have been fine because I hadn't even smoked or anything. Oh, dude! But then they did the blood test, and it was in my blood. And they were like, "Okay, you can eventually." Like so, pretty much, they arrested me, then let me go on my own reconnaissance, like a few hours later. And then I. Uh, I ended up getting, like, this letter in the mail, like, months later saying that I had a court date. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because I, I thought it was good. I thought I was going to hear about it, like, immediately. Yeah. And I, it was, like, almost nine months. <clears throat> and they were like, okay, yeah, you have a court date. And I go, and they're like, yeah, you're going to be on probation and all this stuff. And, and you have to do this community service shit. And I was like, everyone that I know that's done probation ends up going to jail at some point. Most, if they don't want, because, like, I wasn't going to stop smoking weed or whatever uh, at the time. Yeah. Or, like, doing that kind of stuff. They just didn't seem realistic. And I was like, can I just go to jail? Or, like, 
and then like have this be done with and they were like that was your fucking plan yeah well that's the thing though if i wouldn't have done that i wouldn't have started making videos again because when i was in there i was i hated working a normal job and yeah. doing all that stuff and when i was in there i was like i need to start like making videos again or doing things that i like to do and like <laughs> i just don't want to work a normal job again yeah and then i sort of had that like epiphany or whatever while i was in jail yeah and then i started filming like the craziest shit that i could think of when i got out and then a few months later i met steve-o and then i got like a tv show deal i did that and then everything was just off from there so jail How you came it? out yeah <laughs> it, it, ready it, to go yeah it helped me <laughs> yeah. well i feel like a lot of people say you know like in tough times if you know I mean like uh if you stay in it yeah there's a good chance it's a positive outcome you know if you if you learn from it and yeah and make a change things can pick up like it's almost like a bit of a rock bottom kind of a story yeah definitely like you're in there for a month yeah i was in there for a month anybody it, it try was, to fight you in, in no 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 one trying to fight me one this uh this one dude that i saw a bunch of fights happen and i saw like one of the funniest things i saw happen though this dude was these guys came up to him. They're like, "Yeah, we're gonna take like your lunch like every day." It's like a school bully sounds yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Like we're gonna take your food every day, unless you shove this hot, like this hot fireball candy up your ass right now. Yeah. And you, if that ha if someone was to say that to you, you were supposed to fight them. You know, yeah. you would need to fight them to show that they can't fuck with you. Right. And he just shoves up his ass immediately, like instantly. It was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> then they called him Fireball for the rest of the time, and they still took his food. <laughs> they, did they ask you to put a fireball no, up your ass? Because you would have been great at that, right? I know, right? I sh uh, no, they did not. Nobody tried to take your food. No, no one, no one fucks with me really. Not pretty, at all. Yeah, no, it was pretty chill. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I really don't know. It was just like pretty normal. Huh. Like I was just like, okay. Any friends? Um. Yeah, I mean, I made some friends in there. Yeah? Yeah. Did you keep in touch once you got out? Uh, well, one of the guys, like, he was getting ready to go to prison for, like, a while. Like, he got caught with, like, a bunch of weed or something. And But, like, the block that I, like, I ended up meeting him because I had, like, a full, like, so I had, like, a fully executed sentence. So they, like, I had an actual end date, like, when I would be out. And they were like, okay, we need more trustees. And they made me be a trustee, which is like you have to work in the jail and you get out earlier. Because technically mm -hmm. I was supposed to be in there for two months. Mm -hmm. And um, they ended up, they were like, okay, well, you have to go do this. Because at first they asked me if I wanted to be a trustee, like on, on going in. And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm just going to stay in the, because it sort of sounded horrible, like having to work for them while I'm in there. <laughs> You know, that sounds fucking shitty. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to chill. <laughs> and, uh, but the block that I was in, everyone was, like, violent offenders. Like, and then, like, initially. And then I was the only one that was in there for weed. Like, like in that part. Like, it was, like, one guy literally killed someone. The other guy almost killed someone. The other person, like, almost killed someone, too. Were they cool with you? Um, yeah, for the most part. Like, nobody was, tried. Nobody. Yeah, no, yeah, no one really, like, did anything. It was like pretty chill. Were you funny to them? Like, did you do stunts or anything? To no, I didn't. I didn't even do anything like that. I you was just, just like, stayed. yeah, I was just like chilling. <laughs> it's probably for the best, right? Yeah, I didn't want to like. Then I, I'm gonna have to be doing stunts for everyone. Right, good point. You'd be <laughs> yeah. putting fireballs up your ass twenty four seven. Yeah, I didn't think of that. That's a good idea. Do you have? Is that's not the the Logan Paul drink in your hand, is it? Oh no, it's not. I was gonna it's say just a, it's a monster. What is it? Thing. Is it Prime? Yes, everyone keeps asking me if this is prime. I have yeah, because yeah. Logan Paul's got like three different colored, looks exactly like that. Yeah, and it's way better than Gatorade, Michael. It has less of the bad stuff and uh -huh. more of the good stuff. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, yeah, yeah, and it tastes better. I heard Logan Paul do a promo on Tiger Belly. I was like, Jesus, yeah. dude. I always felt like salesman. I always felt like Gatorade could have even more electrolytes. What's that? I always felt like Gatorade could have even more electrolytes. Yeah. Uh, he even calls out Gatorade. He's like, it's Gatorade's fucking competitor, but it's <laughs> I don't but it's that. tastier. <laughs> it's fucking. It's got twice as many. He, like he reeled, he he reeled off the the technical contents <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of it, but he did it in a way where I was like, dude, you're. 
Like, <laughs> I'm not surprised, but I kind of was. I was like, he is such a... Like, when he's older and out of the limelight, he yeah. will be very, a successful a successful businessman because he's so good at spinning shit. Yeah. And you really need to do... You do. Like, if you're gonna... You can be talented and, and make money, but if you're, like, a real good shit spinner... <laughs> you got a bright future. You can, you can double it or yeah. triple it or, you know, <laughs> yeah. who knows, but... Because gimmicks, man. People yeah. love a gimmick. <laughs> so it's even better than Gatorade. So next time you reach for a Gatorade, why not get a Prime? And then most, like not most, but a lot of people, do, you know, Prime. Yeah. Yeah, it I works. <laughs> it does. It works, yeah. dude. I don't know if, it, like, I've never had Prime, but Gatorade tastes pretty good. I yeah. just don't know if it's Oh, good. it's a big claim. Yeah. Like that, like Gatorade's a like, pretty good But I good do know iron. that Gatorade yeah. has certain... Sometimes I drink it when I haven't even been playing football under the hot sun. For <laughs> yeah, three or four yeah hours. literally. No, it's not just for athletes, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know. That's the crazy thing about Gatorade. That's why That's why Logan Paul's so smart. Prime. is prime for the taking. Yeah, but isn't there like a food dye in some of the Gatorades that's like actually bad for you? Oh, the probably. red the red stuff that's in Gatorade is uh, probably in Gatorade. It's in a lot of red artificial food colorings. In America, it's legal. It's illegal throughout Europe because right. it's been linked tentatively to ADHD. Oh, Fun wow. fact, they actually use it in Ritalin. So Ritalin, <laughs> Ritalin arguably contains a food dye that causes ADHD. That's crazy. Well, fun fact, Prime doesn't have that. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not, I don't even. I don't know him. I was on his show once. Like he doesn't know me. Here, I was thinking we didn't have any reads this week. I know, right? Yeah, I, I was like, dude, are you doing like a reader? No, <laughs> I know. I don't know what's happening. What I don't, going but on? Not even, I've never, I I've never even it. had it. I've never even had it. I've never even touched the bottle. Yeah, we've got like eleven <laughs> drinks over here. <laughs> I, I, I owned a piece of Liquid Death, and I just did a fucking prime ad. That's how smart I am. Zach, you mentioned that you're not doing stunt stuff anymore for any show, but uh, Jackass or the Jason Ellis podcast, right? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about... Uh, thank you, Michael. I was thinking about... Because uh, I remember you came on Ellis Tronics and you were like, fucking thumbtacks, do not flinch you. You, like, yeah. headbutted him. Yeah. So I was thinking we could do pin the tail on the donkey, but I'll be in it with you. Yeah, yeah. So that... Katie can be blindfolded, spin around, and pin the tail on one of us. Yeah, yeah. One of us gets tacked. Yeah, I'm down. And then I thought uh, we should have an arm wrestle and tax on either side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoever loses. Oh, I'm losing that. <laughs> right. Well, I got a bad feeling about the tack thing. Yeah. On the butt. I just feel like I'm my butt's prone to getting stabbed <laughs> with things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm going to... I think that's going to happen. But you're okay with that? Yeah, no, I'm down. That's chill. Can All we, right. You, gotta, you should just say, can I kick you in the dick as well? <laughs> just to, don't do it. Just to see this fucking idiot go, yeah, I mean, fuck, if you think it's a good idea, I'll, yeah, go ahead, kick me. Yeah. Just seems like you kind of do that, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Did I mention I'm a crime-fighting robot from the future? <laughs> that's the titanium limbs. Like, yeah. Ooh. If, if she said that, would have that changed your, your no, mind? I would have changed it a bit. You, wh- what's the person? Skeptical. What size? This person and caliber human being goes, no way, Zach ass, dude, let me still kick you in the dick. Do you go, absolutely not. Like me. I have said would no. Would you let me kick you in the dick? Yeah, I mean, I would. But like, <laughs> like I've had like, I've had like bigger people do it too. But like, it just depends. It, it sometimes, it just depends really. But it's not so much the bigger. It's yeah, more yeah. like their intent. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, I feel like anybody of a certain size can yeah. make it hurt. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Some people have the intent of hurting you, right? Too. And like, some people are just doing it as like a f- like they're it's like a fun thing to them. Yeah. But some people have the intent of hurting you. I used to do leg kicks to fans. Like I would give them leg kicks, and yeah. every now and then they'd want to kick me. And I had some guy on the show, <laughs> like a like a fan that was allowed to come in. I don't know why or how, <laughs> but uh, he had a fighting background, like a, a yeah, kickboxing yeah. Uh, background. He's like, I'd really love to kick you in the leg. And it was on the air. And I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And when he did it, I was like, oh, you motherfucker. Like, he put everything he had in yeah. it. Yeah. And I was like, I've never kicked a fan and put everything on it. Yeah, yeah. But it was an inside leg kick. And I was uh, like, up in the meat in here. And uh, I, I totally acted like I didn't do anything just to impress him. But I was like, you fucking dog. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, you kicked the fuck out of that leg. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty funny. What about that? Was it a French lady we saw yesterday on the show with the, the legs that are like three times the size of her body? Yeah, she, she has a disease. Walk. They cut off one of her legs because it kept growing. <laughs> oh, wow. And then the nub just grew even bigger. Oh, my God. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. 600 pound feet. Wow. Legs. Don't let her kick you in the nuts. Yeah. She can't some... lift those fucking things. So I think you're all right. Yeah, I think I'll be good. <laughs> but it seems like a really bad life. So uh, yeah. let the oh, games yeah. begin. Katie, get blindfolded. All right. <laughs> and then, which, where are we going to go? We're going to go there, right? You, I'm going to get out of the way. Right. <coughs> we'll edit this a little bit out. Um, right. I just got tattooed. How could you do? It's ass, not inside I leg. Wanna be blind. Man, now you're freaking me out. <laughs> you ever been? T- have you ever been tacked in a tattoo? Uh, not like a fresh one. I love that. I love that you had to think about that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I don't think so. Can you move that laptop, t- t- Telly? Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. We should get Are all you guys that. On those two? We should get that. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. You know, this one, this one, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just getting yeah. out of the way. We should get drinks out of the way, too. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, look, you can use the mic, too. Perfect. Oh, God. So you just do this, Zach. Okay. Just pull your... Oh man, I'm giving myself a. God damn it. How do I look? Just that. I'm gonna. Zach, I'm gonna move your drink, okay? I go. On this side? Just over here. If you're just tuning in. I think I might start doing the show like this. (laughs) Just don't have to know anybody. I can't see how bad it looks. So I don't really care. Everybody else has to look at my fucking weird ass. Whoa, these have pads in them? Yeah. Cool. Did you see my walls, Zach? Yeah. It's all padded. I had no idea. I just paid someone to make it. Wait, you're not going raw ass? How's it supposed to go in your fucking ass? Oh my god. Wait, should I pull it down or... What's... Alright, the tacks are there. Katie? No, I I think... think That that works? I think think thonging it works. Yeah, thonging it is good. Oh, man, now I really feel like a lady. Man, is that how you got... Man, I don't know how girls wear this shit. That is... That's just like a fucking uh, poo floss machine. So should I film this way too? Because that's how the cameras are? Yes. Okay. Oh. How bad is a... Za- as a <laughs> how bad is a tack in your ass? Hey, whoa! Oh, man. My pants rolled over my knob. Maybe. My shorts rolled over my knob, and I thought it was Katie pinching my knob. <laughs> yeah, have you had an attack in the ass? Oh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. How's that? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Here. Turn it around. Yeah. Um, it's so, not wait, wait. that pleasant. <laughs> oh. Well, you had them in your so face, which yeah, is worse. I have, uh, I feel like face is definitely possible. worse. Right. Yeah. Well, that's good because it's not going to go on my face. <laughs> yeah. What about in your arm versus your ass? Um, ass, I, ass would probably be chill. Okay. <laughs> you don't really remember, do you? I don't know. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got to help Spinner. So, so how far back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far back can you go and still have your head in? <laughs> there, right? Mm-hmm. I say go a little bit. So as long as there's daylight on top of your head. Okay, and then scoot a tiny bit to your left. God. I'm sorry, you're right. Take your time. You know guys don't like being in this position for long periods of time, right? Now you're perfectly in the middle. All right. I'm just going to... I'll just... Do you get... Are you nervous? Not at all, right? (laughs) Not really. Not at all. All right. I'll spin you. Do you you have tacks? No, you're going to have to hand them to me. I feel a little bit of adrenaline. A little bit. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> so here's, here's one. Please not me. Hand. Please not me. That's the sticker bit. Okay. 
Okay, so you know where the pin is on that. Okay, I got it. Okay. All right. Oh, fuck. I'm filming. <laughs> Fucking hurt, Luke. I would say just <laughs> spin around once or twice. Oh, no. One more time. <sighs> okay, stop. Okay. And go. Okay. Yes! Yeah! Is that for another round? No! Oh, did I won? That's how that works. Fucking another round? I'll, I'll do another round if you put your ass down in between us. Fucking another round. <laughs> How was that, Zach? No big deal? <laughs> that was fun. You gotta talk into the microphone. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright. What a weak ass stunt. <laughs> 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 like, that is. For you guys, that is not. That wouldn't go in Jackass 5, you're saying? <laughs> Probably not. That, no. That'd be on the. On the, uh, what is it? The, the, the cutting edge. The, <laughs> yeah, cutting, the, the cutting room floor. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I was not going to get that. Yeah. Mental fart. Uh, do you want to do the arm wrestle? Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. Do we want to do the arm wrestle? I think so. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. This is called tack arm wrestle. Oh, I'm doing it. You're doing it. Who's doing it? Getting the tape. Yeah. We probably need to scooch each of your chairs back a little bit. There we go. Well, let's see. We'll put the table in. And... If, it's, if you can do it off the chair, that's great. If you need to kneel, then we need to move the chairs. We can do it, right? Can you get your... Oh, yeah. But, but yeah. you have enough space to get your arm down. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, and then... I need to get the yes, put them there. That's where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I fucking. I, I'm kind of pissed. I didn't get tacked in the ass because I don't think it's fair. Well, do you want to make it? We could even it by the number of tacks on the side, so there would be like, like it would be worse for Jason if he lost. It's still not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna. I do a, a show now every Wednesday night. Yeah. yeah. Where I'm, uh, I beat the undefeated arm wrestling champion of that oh, for real? comedy club, and now I have to go there. That's so to defend, sick. That's which sick. also gives me a spot every Wednesday, which is pretty cool. <laughs> All those arm wrestles back in the day <laughs> paid off for something. It's going to be over there a bit more, Michael. Like arm wrestling is like one thing that I'm afraid of for some reason because like I've seen so many videos of people like just getting their oh, arms with their arms snapped, yeah. I That's don't understand how they don't feel that happening. Their arm giving out. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. Like, I feel like I feel like that's like drunk people arm wrestling. Yeah, it has. Because to I be. feel like when you start to feel things tear. Yeah. If you keep pushing. Yeah, it's like. But you're right. I've seen the ones where it just seems like everything's yeah. fine, and then pop. Yeah. And you're like, like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, those are horrific. Yeah. Ever since I broke my leg, like I'm. How'd you break your leg? Skate. I was skating at. Uh, at Poods and uh you know where that's at? Uh it's in like Encinitas. It's like this one skate park in Encinitas and I was doing a rolling grind <laughs> and like which I, I shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. <laughs> and like cuz like I was I was skating somewhat at the time. Yeah. But like not I could I couldn't have like ollied off or even just like sk- like f- somehow got off the like the rail when I was, or the ledge when I was on there. And uh my friend was like just try this rolling grind cuz like I was like I was able to drop in and, like, I made some videos before that where I, I dropped in a little, like, fucking tiny, like, quarter pipe. And then, like, I've been doing some other stuff, just filming it. And, like, rocked a fake eat and shit. And I was just trying to get clips of me skating. And he's like, just do this rolling grind. It'll be chill. And, like, I do it. I do the first time, fall, eat shit. Do it again, fall, eat shit. And the third time, I fall off, like, going, like, my leg goes behind me. Yep. And then it just snaps in half. Yep. Like, it was gnarly. How was that? That was fucking horrible. It right. was like, well, it was like a tip fit break, so it was both. Oh, it was both. Yeah. And then, um, oh. and it wasn't even just like a clean like break in between it. It was like Messy. broke at the top. So they had to put like and then, pins and then stuff. there was like another. Then it like broke in between. So there was like three pieces to each like. So you had to get like pop, yeah, plates yeah, and yeah. Shit. I had to get all that yeah. stuff. 
Yeah, and then, like, the funniest thing, though, was, like... Man, you don't need that many texts. Holy shit. <laughs> Just put them down. That'll do. <laughs> 20 minutes already. His hand's gonna be over here. <laughs> But yeah, like I started like freaking out when I broke my leg and I was like, I almost like started crying. And then I remembered when someone said, if you like freak out when you break something, it's like so much worse. So I just got like really calm and it's a, I know it doesn't really make sense. Like you can just stop yourself, but like, but it helped. It, it literally helped me in the moment. Cause I just got it, like ridiculously calm and I was just like, call 911, please. <laughs> and then they, then I was just chill from there. How was the pain? It was fuck. It, it, I think it was just like adrenaline or whatever it was. I was like, or in shock, you know. Um, but it, it didn't really hurt. I mean, it definitely hurt. But then it was, uh, I didn't really feel it. And then until I got to the hospital, um, like from that. But yeah, it was pretty bad. And then this one guy was like, I know exactly, this other skater like, I know exactly what you did wrong, dude. This is what you have to do next time. Shut up. I'm like, there's not going to be yeah. a next time. Yeah, dude. Don't talk to me, dude. Yeah. That is it. I'm That's offended. Like, I don't even know the kid. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah, it was, Fucking leg is shattered in pieces. Yeah. Bro, next time. Like, next time. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Like, I, shouldn't even, I shouldn't even have been skating the first yeah. time. Like, Some could argue that. Yeah. All right, so here we go. You get it. You should go over here, Tully. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that corner. It's all about camera angles. Jeff Tremaine would be very impressed with my directions. <laughs> I don't like tax. I've decided that they are longer than I expected and I really don't want to <laughs> yeah. lose. They look like they're going to well, like stab my veins. That's possible. Uh, I think tax don't get to you as much because of your chubbiness. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I think you're cheating. <laughs> you like well, Metallica. Really? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, is it Zach Talica? What the fuck? Is that your logo in your hand? Oh, no, that's XYZ. <laughs> XYZ? Yeah, that's from, like, when I was doing viral videos, like, because they, they shared my, they shared my, um, bunch of my, like, when I got out of jail, they started sharing my videos, and that's how I met Steve-O, was because of that. Oh, because of through that guy. Yeah, yeah from Tommy, yeah. That guy hates me. Oh. He, I, I don't think he does anymore. Yeah. He just did, because it was a different time back then. Yeah. 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 He I, kicked me off XYZ for being gay. What the fuck? Hey, thanks for that, dude. <laughs> that was cool. Okay. Is your arm going to be allowed to go all the way back or is it going oh, right? We got it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Is my hand going to go? Oh, okay, let's see. Let's yeah. Okay, you ready? Cool. Go. Wait, you're, you're just preparing to be stapled, aren't you? You don't. Yeah. He doesn't care. All right. Oh God! Get in the finger, you cunt! <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. That's enough. Oh, fucking! I... Okay, that's good. I got. Okay, good. I was thinking it's not fair if I don't get prick. I fucking drove my fucking on the tip of the finger into one. Oh. That fucking sucked. <laughs> it's true someone, blood. <laughs> I've seen someone get a thumbtack like through their fingernail before, like stuck in their. Wait, hand. through the top of it? Yeah, through the top. Is that of a it. weak fingernail? Uh, no. It it, <laughs> it was just I fucked like up. I thought fingernail could defend that. <laughs> That's what you would think. <laughs> um, do you want to get back in, Tully? Yeah. Clear this shit out and take it back in. You don't have to. I'm um, in the shot still. Sorry. Um, production team. <laughs> There's some editing in this episode. Okay, while well, we're taking a break, what else can we do? What is there? Something you wanted to bring up? Is there a promo or anything? Um, I don't really have much that I can like talk about like from the stuff that I've been doing recently. Because it's secret shit. Yeah, just, like, it's not official. Just like... Just like different movie stuff like the thing is that I, yeah I can't really say but shit is happening though yeah I've been working I've Good, been working dude. and doing shit yeah are you making money did you make money from Jackass because I heard a lot of you guys didn't make it um I mean or is that just like when trolls liking the shit on um I mean it was a, it was decent you know yeah. it wasn't like I mean it wasn't life like life changing it, yeah I mean it was it was good work you know right. I mean it was like I'm not you know I don't have to like 
work a normal job. So, like, right. yeah. so more, it's, but it also set you up for yeah, it's your set, career. It's, yeah, I mean, I would have done the movie for fucking free, yeah. you know, because, like, it, the, like, the potential, like, yeah. and the opportunities that yeah, come from it. Yeah, I would have, it. too. Yeah, it's, like, totally worth doing. I don't even have doing. a plan. I still would have done it. Yeah, it's, like, totally worth doing. Yeah. So, it's all good. We've got shoes on. But if you do stand on one, make sure... Oh, there's one right there. Whatever. Oh, there's a tax. Yeah. There's one, two, and that three, one, right? the third one. Yeah. yeah, and I think there's like one under one of these chairs. Like well, hopefully yeah. I fall on it or something. And that's funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, should probably wrap it up then. It's been an hour. Oh, do some but, news? Yeah. Real yeah, quick. Do some on. powerful stuff. Give me a sec. So we had... Uh, we did 40 minutes. How long do we think the stunt stuff is... I guess we probably have. Do you want to inject my ass with peptides? <laughs> sure. <laughs> is there a certain way to do this? Stab it like right there or some shit or right there. Okay. And then inject me. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Even better than Prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. I make an energy drink that comes in a syringe. <laughs> And you go to 7-Eleven and you get a bunch of syringes with your friends. And you fucking whack it in your ass. And you get hydrated as fuck. <laughs> you get pulled over. Like it's, I promise it's just an energy drink. It's like, prime. <laughs> it's prime injectables. Yeah, prime injectables, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. I'm just hydrated. If anything, I'm probably better driver than I've ever been. Yeah. That'd be a great idea. What about a, a, a injection that sobers you up? <laughs> oh, I heard that. I heard that might actually. You're finally like, Woo! The lights yeah. go. Fuck cops! We fucking pull the emergency. <laughs> Bing! You know what I mean? Like in the fucking like like morphine, but not morphine. Like does yeah, yeah, make yeah. sure like your blood sober up or something. Well, they do have that for uh, for opiates. <laughs> yeah, say Narcan. From, from yeah, OD. yeah. But I I gather it's. I don't not. reckon shooting yourself with Narcan when the cops pull you over is a good idea. <laughs> no, I, yeah, think, yeah. I think Narcan's <laughs> a fucking <laughs> boo. Yeah. I haven't been drinking. What are you talking about? <laughs> As great as it sounds, I hear Narcan's kind of a bummer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like, I'm alive? Yeah, yeah. Like, when they use it in movies, it looks yeah. pretty cool. But even yeah. the guy that looks cool on Narcan doesn't make me want to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, doctors, we were talking about how many times you've been to the ER, Zach. Is it true at a certain point they just told you to stop coming? Um, no. What? Well, they... <laughs> what kind of a fucking... <laughs> well, they're... Okay, so... <laughs> Listen... What... What happened for me Wait, was... Wait, there's truth to this? No, what happened for me... Like, they kept trying to put me on, like, psych holds for, like, the different stunt stuff. Because they were, like, saying that I was, like, insane and shit like that. And once... That's, like, somebody stopping me from... Yeah. Skateboard tricks. Yeah, that's they, just, they, they, they like, don't realize that you're... That's yeah, a fucking they, like, career. They, they didn't get it, like, especially at the time. Because at first it was just me doing viral videos. And then I was, like... I had, like, a TV show. And they still didn't get it then. So it's, like... I don't... I... I was pretty much you like... You told I, them that you were recording these for a television show, and they were yeah, like, yeah, no, you need mental health. Yeah, pretty much. And were you then, telling them exactly how you were getting hurt? No, well, that was the thing, like, if you, I have done that before, and then that like, usually ends up being worse. Yeah. So it's just like, I end up, like, telling... So I'll just, like... You felt that sense. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, I, some shit happened, you know? Yeah. So you're yeah. saying that you've gone to the yeah. hospital and said, yeah, I was, yeah. I've, I've skated down a hill into cactus. Yeah, they're like... Yeah, pretty. I've done that before, and then like I've told, but uh, so like, any time that I would do that in Indiana, it always just ended badly if I told them what would happen. You know what yeah. what happened actually. Wow. So uh, I was I would have to come up that. with shit, and then when I did the cactus thing with Steve-O, though, he was like talking. Like, he was like, "Dude, you look like you're getting infected," because I ended up getting a staph infection from it, uh. and uh, and I had like a uh, like sun poisoning, which I didn't know was a thing. Um, they had to give me like steroid. They were more worried about my sunburn when I went in than they were worried about the cactus needles. Wait, so at one point you were covered in holes from cactuses that were infected, and you had a, a horrendous sunburn. Yeah, from the Stevo thing. Yeah, it was gnarly. 
And, like, I was getting dizzy and stuff, like, just randomly. And I was like, yeah, I might need to go to the urgent care or something. Hey, so we go. your blood's getting infected. Yeah. You're like, going to die. <laughs> yeah, literally. Staff is going to kill you. Yeah, so yeah. We, we go. And then I was, like, worried about telling them what we did. And Steve was like, no, it's chill. Just tell them. And then we did. And, like, doctors in California are a lot more chill than doctors in Indiana. Oh, like, yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. You hear that, Texas? We've got chill doctors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's because I've yeah. always been under the impression that I could tell you what I did when I got hurt, yeah. regardless of how stupid it is. Yeah. And you're just supposed to treat me and let me walk out. No, you- they they do not like in like in Indiana when that would happen, they would like treat you like shit. Like wow, you were, like, the worst person. Like, like say like if I actually like like if some like not the like I know some people are like pain, like you know like pain pill seekers or whatever. But like uh, even if I was actually hurt, like leg- they would not. They would be like, they'd be like, no, fuck. Like, if it was like actually like some, where they would normally do that, they would not. Or if like they they were just shit. They're also just like shitty in general. Not even just that. Like they were really shitty. <laughs> do, you, do you think it was because you had a track record of being involved in drugs or no? Oh didn't no, you? I didn't even at that time. Oh okay. Yeah, it was just like they they were just fucking assholes. Do you think the pain pills became a habit because of how much pain you're in all the time? Um, no, I think it was just because I, I literally was doing it before, like, like, well, after that too, when I wasn't doing stunts. Right. So it's just sort of like, just it was just, party. it was just like, yeah, I was just partying. You drink a lot? No, I don't, I don't like drinking at all, actually. I never, I, I don't, I don't do anything at all now, all right. but, uh, I used, but yeah, like even when I did do stuff, I would never drink. I hated drinking. Huh. Yeah. I don't know why. Probably but. for the best. Yeah. I don't think it ever helped anybody. Yeah, I don't think so either. It, it arguably really does have a downside. Yeah. 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 If you do it long enough, it guarantees a downside. Yeah, definitely. That's what I've found. Yeah. Cause I also just hated, like, the idea that, like, this was, like, sort of ridiculous, but, like, if I was high, I could still, like, drive or go do something, but yeah. if I was, like, drunk, I could not do anything. Yeah, I couldn't even seem normal, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that is the argument. Yeah. People are like, weed shouldn't be legal. I'm like, but alcohol's legal. Yeah, yeah. People do so much worse with alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of guys in the emergency room, we kind of specialize in stories of people who accidentally get things stuck in their ass. Yeah. There's some amazing, the, the most legendary to this point had to be the, I think it was a Scottish priest who was fixing some drapes and accidentally fell on a potato. <laughs> it was a one in a what? million shot, yeah. and he had to go to the emergency room. What are the odds, Zach? Because we all know that's the only way you could possibly yeah, get a potato in your that's rectum. That's insane. This it's guy... Ins- it's insane to know that the only thing you could find to put in your ass is a potato. Yeah, I don't understand why it was that. Or- Should have just got a grinder account, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. You get a real dick in you. Man, but when it starts to grow those eyes and arms... <laughs> <laughs> that's when the real party begins this guy i think has one up the scottish priest yeah. that we've been talking about for 10 years an 88 year old man in france went to the emergency room they had to evacuate several wards because he had a world war one era bomb oh my God. in his rectum a hundred year old obviously unexploded yeah. world war Munition. It's pretty kinky. <laughs> it's I, mean, I thought hot. about, you know, like sex with guns to your head. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but like a big ass bomb in your butt. <laughs> I mean, you can't trigger it. You're not going to trigger it with your bum hole. You know? <laughs> this might be the sexiest 88 year old man alive. Yeah. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah, think about it. 88, and he is still. I want to watch that video. I know. As long as he washed himself and stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But it got lodged in there, so that means he shoved that bad boy all... He didn't, like, hold on to the end of it. He he pushed it all the way in there. He took yeah. all... I, if you're picturing, like, a Wile E. Coyote yeah. bomb, you're right. It's pretty <laughs> much that. What Solid bomb. Right. <laughs> Eight inches long and two <laughs> inches wide. That's insane. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Like a humongous bullet is basically what it was. Yeah. Holy shit. Do you think he's been putting that thing up his ass for a hundred years not a hundred but yeah a long time i think it's always faithful it. yeah definitely wasn't his first rodeo with it i think he got <laughs> so advanced with it he was like why don't i just put the whole thing in my butt Uh-oh. <laughs> or maybe he's used to be able to put it in and take it out and he's too old to get it out your old rectum yes. <laughs> so does he think like sex toys usually go like i don't know 
I'm, I'm picturing like underwear draw. Do you think he's had a rusty bomb next to his <laughs> boxers right. for the last Probably. 60 years? Is that the actual bomb? Because it looks like he's got poo stains on it. I think that's rust, but it could be poo stains. Be I both. have to imagine <laughs> that that is. Naturally, there's a lot of, they're keeping the uh, the man anonymous. Mm. But I don't, I, I keep seeing that same photo. I have to believe that's <laughs> With it. that much rust, he's going to need a fucking tetanus shot. If I was him, like, I would God. make myself famous and then go hit up steve and see if I can get in Jackass 5, because that's a fucking competitor. <laughs> you guys need him. <laughs> I saw a, a story... Uh, out of Japan that they linked a low sex drive to uh, not living quite as long. Hmm. So I think that explains an 88-year-old man. Yeah. Yeah. He's still alive with pleasure. Right. So as soon as I don't want to fuck, I'm probably going to die. I kind of get it. <laughs> okay, like when well, that's you, When you want to fuck, you're kind of alive. And... <laughs> I always worry about dying, but I don't no. feel like out of any all my friends, <laughs> I want to live the most. How old are you, Zach? 31. You were one of these, like, I'll be surprised if I lived to 30 kind of guys, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. How, uh, how was 30 for you? Um, it was chill. Yeah. It was okay. Because I know, like, Steve-O is the same thing. You yeah. Know, he wasn't going to live until he was 30, and now Steve-O's, like, yeah. a, a long-distance bicycle man with the shorts to prove it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you, do you plan on living a long time now? Are you happy? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy. You yeah. like your shit? Yeah, no, everything's going well, like, lots of cool stuff coming up. You know, I'm excited. Do you, are you like a whore? Do you bone, uh, like, bitches? Or I mean, I doing? have a girlfriend right now. You do? Yeah. Has that been in a long time, or is that new? Uh, it's new. Uh, yeah. You pretty happy with that? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Does she stab you with stuff or anything? Any, no, any, not yet. Any consensual nut kicking? Yeah. Uh, no consensual nut kicking. Have you kicked her in Maybe the, the guns <laughs> thing, but... That's pretty good. Yeah. As I said, I've got something. You can borrow them if you want. Yeah. I swear, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> you can borrow them. <laughs> anyway, Michael. Uh, final piece of news we definitely need to touch on before we wrap up here. Jason, after a long time, scientists have finally proven snakes have clits. Did I already know that? That's big news. <laughs> it's, it's it's actually in the in the snake community. It's a fucking it's game huge. changer. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Zach, but snakes have two dicks. I did not know that. And if the lady snake has a clit, that means those two dicks are massaging the shit out of that thing, <laughs> which means it's pretty good to be a snake and fuck. You can bring up a photo snake. There's a lot of different kinds of snakes, yeah. and they have a lot of different kinds of clits. And I think they finally just found one where it was visually so you can see the bane so undeniable. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So they've oh, known this shit was there for a while, but for whatever reason, yeah. they just snake bane. Oh, wow. They just denied. Mm. If I lick that, will the snake be like like me? We'll have a snake gasm. <laughs> yeah, it's <that's> cool. <laughs> I would lick that. They thought that it may have been, you know, a lot of animals have like vestigial shit. Like we yeah. have like vestigial tail stuff. Mm -hmm. they, they, scientists were so like, I don't know, like misogynistic towards snakes or whatever <laughs> that they looked at that for years. And they're like, oh, it's probably like in utero it was supposed to be a dick. And then the body just gave up and it became a female. And now they're finally like, oh, no, they totally have clits. And no animal <laughs> that has clits, like the only purpose of a clit is, Get sexual, off. is sexual pleasure. Yeah. yeah. So they basically in one fell swoop, proved they have clits and proved that snakes must bone for fun. When yeah. you add to, the, yeah. to that equation the fact that the males have two dicks, yeah. snakes might have the most satisfying Best sex life ever. Sex life yeah. out of the entire animal. Because you don't have to ever move a leg out of the way. That's right. Take that, <laughs> take that bonobos. You're just, you're just every angle possible. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, they can fully like 360 around each yeah. other. And it's like two dicks fucking each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. I think so. I'm a bit confused about that last bit. <laughs> but we'll survive. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of Jason Ellis shows, patreon.com slash Mate. And Zach, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram, Zachass. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And YouTube, Zachass. He's out there. He's available. When you meet him, maybe go for a photo, not for a nut kick, but hey, each to their own. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for driving out here and being on the show, dude. Yeah, no problem. Thank Best you. of luck. No. No, no, no.